Yet they called us a planet of barbarians. And in part, they were right. Throughout human history, civilizations, if you can call them that, never shirked at the idea of shedding blood or lives in the pursuit of great athletic entertainment, all in a quest to feed their lust for violence. Now, several thousand years later, we consider ourselves civilized. We have eradicated any need for war. Though violent sports are banned as entertainment, someone decided there was a need to feed our never-ending lust for blood to stem the natural human gene of aggression. Those who persisted in resisting are offered the chance to not only expel their inner demons through athletic endeavors, but are also invited to experience what is described as elite training, normally reserved for recruits who display exceptional athletic skills. We are told that gentle guidance is used from qualified instructors, an effort to expel the turmoil raging inside us. If we progress, we'll be given the honor of experiencing combat as a true warrior in one of the legendary interplanetary gladiatorial arenas. Of course, those who don't survive salute an honorable death. Basics have been learned, we move up from the Gladiatory Academy to take part in tournament exhibitions. Get up off the floor! Yes, sir! Well, aren't you a sorry bunch of misfits? But I've seen worse. Your trainer says you're ready. We'll see. Today, some of you will be given a chance to prove what you have learned by facing each other in a contest to the death. Make no mistake. The weapon in your hands, as crude as it may be, is not only a symbol of your barbarian past, it is the first step to returning as a citizen of the New World Order. Defeat your opponent, and you will advance. Die well. You will have given your life in honor of the Empire. Bring them! Fall in! Then again, you can't shove manure down someone's throat and expect them to swallow it. Maybe the rebellion isn't over.